Corks. What are they? How, how do you do them? Let's find out. A corkscrew, known as a cork for short, is pretty much a gainer with a full twist in it. So a back full twist off one leg. I'm gonna teach you all you need to know to land a cork. Now this tutorial isn't for mastering your cork. It's not for getting the most perfect cork in the world. This is just gonna teach you the essentials, the most important components of a cork, the things that are gonna make you do the move, land on your feet, get the right amount of inversion, and just give you the base move so that you can practice it, get more comfortable, and eventually swing and variate. I'm just gonna get you started on the right path towards getting a really nice cork. So first off, the prerequisites. What do you need to know before you think about trying your cork? It's not too much. You just need a gainer flash, and I mean step free of the gainer tutorial. If you're still doing step two, if you're taking off, looking over your shoulder, going around the side, that's not what you want. You need to be able to do it taking off, looking straight over your head. Yeah, you might be able to learn a cork doing that swing around the side, but it's not gonna be a very good cork, and you're gonna have to pretty much relearn it when you wanna swing out of it and move on to harder tricks. So it's worth you just taking the time to get a good gainer. If you're trying to rush ahead, which a lot of people do, I get it, you're eager to learn cork, everyone can cork, you wanna learn it but take your time, work on that gainer. If you don't have the gainer to the point where it needs to be, it's gonna take you much longer to get your cork and it's not gonna be as good a cork. So just spend the time sorting out your gainer. It won't take long, couple of sessions. Think, if you can already gain it all right, do 50 more gainers, you'll be able to do it good enough to do a cork. So go do that, go do that before you try this. Second prereq, you need to be able to do a full Ideally, you want to be able to do a round off full. You may be able to do a standing full or a scoop full, which is weird if you can't do a round off full as those are kind of harder. But if you can do either of those, you'll also be ready. And the third prerequisite, you don't necessarily need this, but it does really help. A cork on a trampoline. If you have no idea about how to do a cork, watch the rest of this tutorial, try it on your trampoline. It shouldn't be too hard for you. We've also got a separate tutorial teaching you how to train your corks on trampoline. So that will show you the bounces to do going into it. So check that out, get it on the trampoline, and then try it on the floor. You'll have a much easier time learning it. You won't have to slam so much. It's just, it's just gonna be faster and easier if you can. If you don't have access to a trampoline, that's fine. You can still learn it as long as you have a solid gainer and a solid fall. And the last thing you need for your cork is a good J-step. We've got a lot of information on J-step on the site. If you can gain it and you learn it from my tutorial, you'll already know how to do a good J-step. If not, check out my how to get the most out of your J-step tutorial for really detailed information on getting a good J-step. Doing a good J-step will make it way, way easier. And it's not hard to get a good J-step, it's just a step. So spend the time fixing that up and you'll get the move much quicker. So first things first, let's talk about your takeoff. You already know how to do the step right, so I'm gonna go from where you finish your J step. Aim to swing your leg in the exact same way you would for a gainer. So you're not trying to swing over your shoulder, you're trying to swing straight in front of you. Because of the way you come out of a J step, your leg's gonna naturally go to the side a little bit. So if you aim to swing straight forwards, then you'll hit that right kind of angle that you want. So as you swing your leg, you wanna lean your head and chest back at the exact same time. So make sure you keep a really tight core. You want tension through your whole body, ideally. Swing your arms in time with your leg swinging and your head and chest leaning backwards. So the whole of your body is gonna pivot like a pendulum in the takeoff. That's gonna create all of your flip. Through the takeoff, the only thing you need to worry about is generating that flip. Ideally, you want there to be a straight line between the foot that you're swinging through and your head. If you start to swing your leg up and your head and chest are still upright and it starts to create a 90 degree angle between your foot and your head, you're doing it wrong. You're gonna end up going too far around the side, not getting enough flip. It's not gonna work out. So make sure your head and chest lean back in time with that leg swinging up. At the same time as you're doing this, you're swinging your arms up into your chest the same way you would for a gainer. 
Think of your arms as tools to create more of a flip and to create a little bit of arch in your back as you're leaving the ground. That's what their primary function is at this point. It's only after you take off where you're gonna be using them to twist. A really common issue with the takeoff is as they swing their leg, they'll drop the opposite shoulder. This is gonna cut all of your height, it's gonna make it harder for you to get the flip round and it's gonna throw you off to the side. Make sure you don't do that. As you're taking off, you want your chest and both shoulders to go straight backwards. Don't let this happen, or if you're swinging your left leg, don't let that happen. All right, so you've got your takeoff down. So what's the next step? What are you gonna do while you're in the air? Well, there's a few key things you need to think about. First one, arms. As you're leaving the ground, your arms should have pulled tight into your chest to create that arch and to give you that flip. As you take off, you're gonna pull into your twist. This should feel pretty natural as you're already comfortable doing falls, so you know what it feels like to wrap your arms in for a fall twist. It shouldn't be alien to you. If it is, take a step back. Go work your falls. Go do some falls. Second thing, now this one's incredibly important. You need to keep tension throughout your body all the way through. So after you leave the ground and wrap your arms in, make sure your core's tense, your legs are tense, everything is tensed really tight. And while you're twisting, you should be looking over your shoulder in the direction that you're twisting. So make sure you don't go loose at any point. I've seen this with a lot of people. They'll take off really nice with loads of power. As soon as they're in the air, everything goes limp. And you'll notice the twist slowing down and then slamming onto their knees or their side. Make sure you keep that tension up all the way through. You need to be expecting to land on your feet. You know how to get onto your feet. You know what it should feel like. You've done falls before. You know how it feels to pull that full twist in a flip and land on your feet. So it's just a matter of forcing that round. You might not have quite as much height as you would on a normal fall, but you should still be able to squeeze it round. And the third thing, when you're coming out of your cork, don't worry too much about eagling or coming out one leg at a time to start with. When you're learning your cork, you just need to get your feet round and land on two feet. After you've got comfortable with your cork, then you can start to build it up and learn how to eagle out of it and swing. But check out the cork swing tutorials for that. This one is just to teach you how to cork. So there you have it. That's all you really need to know to land a cork. But what are the common mistakes? What are most people messing up on? What do you need to avoid so that you're not slamming on your side in your neck? First thing, a lot of people lean back way too early. If you come out of your step and you're already leaning backwards, that means you can't do that pendulum motion in your takeoff. You can't swing your leg as your head and chest go backwards. Because your head and chest are already leaning back, you'll have a much harder time generating the flip. You also won't block out of your step as much as you'll hit the ground in a leant back position. There is an easy fix for this. Make sure when you come out of your J step, you spot the floor in front of you. If you can see the floor as you plant your foot, that means your chest isn't gonna be leant back, it can't be. You wouldn't be able to see the floor. So try and spot the floor where you're planting your foot. Soon as you push into the floor, then you're gonna lean back as you swing your leg. Second thing to avoid, which I touched on earlier, is not having a good enough gainer. I've seen this loads of times. I still get people asking me for help with their cork, and they're just not good enough at gainer. Just spend the time getting better at it. If you're still at step two, if you're taking off, looking over your shoulder, you're not ready for court yet. Go back, do some gainers. It's not that hard to get it right. Just spend a little bit of time on it. And when you do have a good gainer and a good fall, there's no reason why you won't learn cork in a session. It's really not that hard or confusing or complicated in any way once you have the prerequisites. If you don't have those, then yeah, you'll have a tough time learning it. You'll slam a lot. And when you get it, it might not be that good. So make sure you take the time to work on your gainers. Another really common mistake I see coming out of the step, people having too much contact time with the ground. You leave your foot on the ground for too long, you're gonna lose all of the momentum that the step gave you. It also means you're gonna turn too much in your takeoff. As you can try and swing your leg straight, but if you stay on the ground any longer than you need to, your body's gonna keep turning and you're gonna take off 
leaning over to the side. It's not, it's just not good. Make sure you push into the ground out of your step. You don't want to be doing a jump. It should be a rebound. Check out my rebounding out of tricks video for some more advice on this. And the last one of the major mistakes that I've seen, not committing to your core. This is an issue that lots of people have with a lot of tricks. So make sure you check out my Are You Trying Your Hardest video for some advice on pushing past that mental barrier. You really need to be committing all the way through. What I mean by that is keeping tension throughout your body, expecting to land on your feet, and actively working towards landing on your feet. So you're forcing your body round all the way. If just before you land, your arms are doing this, you're not committing. You're expecting to not land the trick. So watch yourself in slow motion or frame by frame and you'll be able to tell if you fully committed. If you do fully commit, it means you're trying to land on your feet right till the end. Now this can be a bit dangerous if you're not very good at cork. So if you're fully committing and not putting your hands out and you're barely rotating, then yeah, you might land on your chest. But you shouldn't be trying it if that's gonna happen. You should only be trying cork when you have the prerequisites down. If you have them down, there isn't that much risk. That's not gonna happen because you know how to do a good gainer, you know how to do a good fall, you're just putting them together. It's nothing new for you. So make sure you're trying the move when you're ready to be committing. And then if you are ready to commit, if you've got everything it takes to do core, then commit. You've just gotta make that conscious decision. Before you go for it, tell yourself, I am gonna land it, I'm gonna land this cork. There's no way I'm failing. And then go for it, and if you fail, that's all right. Just get up and tell yourself again, I'm gonna land this cork. Tell that to yourself every single time you try it, you're gonna be much more likely to land it, you're gonna get it much sooner. If you're doubting yourself, if you're trying to do a cork rather than doing a cork, there's much less chance of you landing it. Don't allow for that doubt to slip into your mind. It's gonna make it way harder to get. And that's it for the cork. I hope this tutorial helped you. Good luck getting that cork. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for new videos every single week. And if you want access to over 400 videos like this made to help you progress faster in tricking, check out kojostricklab.com. There's a link in the description below. So yeah, check that out. We post 24 new videos per month. There's just a lot on there. Go onto the site and you can have a look and see all of the videos that we've got before signing up.